what's up youtube welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in first and foremost and if you haven't already make sure you like share comment and subscribe i'm not looking at the camera because i'm currently driving so i gotta pay attention y'all i don't even know how to drive in the first place so <laughs> gotta pay attention to the road you know however i just wanted to come up um up here and do a little story time um so i have a saturn view well i had a saturn view and i only have that car it's a 2006 about 280 mile 80,000 miles on it um of course old car you know they don't even make that car no more i had it for about two years before the alternator blew uh, and then on top of the alternator blowing, it also killed the battery, of course. So I've been out of a car for a few months, a few months now, and I had to use my mom's, um, which of course she didn't mind. We made it work. It's just very hard with one vehicle and your mother needs to do certain things and then you need to do certain things and you have certain places that you need to go and she has certain places that she needs to go whatever whatever right so i was using her car for a few months and i was like i gotta get my own vehicle like i gotta give my mom her car back i gotta get my own car so because I had recently just got my taxes, I was like, of course, this is the perfect time to go ahead and get another car. And with my credit, it was kind of hard, of course, because my credit isn't great. However, with that being said, I was like, still test the water, still try to get a car. You need one. Um, it's just time to it's just time. Right. It's my time. So I went to Bob Mills um because they have the dream car well my dream car they had it there and i was like man that's my dream car that's what i want that's what i'm going to get which is the chevy traverse 2000 they had a 2020 i believe it was and they had a 2016 me personally i would settle for like a 2015 2016 uh but i like the 2018 and up models because of the the body of it Right, so I went there and it was like, because of it being a pre-owned vehicle, first and foremost, and with oh so many miles on it, I don't qualify for it. So I was like, okay. So with my credit, I would have to do a brand new car with fewer miles on it. So I was like, okay, cool. Or it could be a pre-owned, but it still has to have lesser mileage on it. So I was like, okay, cool. Let's try it. So we tried an Outlander Sport. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that. Look it up. It's a very tiny car. It almost remind me, reminds me of my Saturn view. And I was just like, nope, I can't do this. I'm not going to be able to do it. It's too small. I feel closed in. I feel like I'm inside of a box. It's just not going to work. So they were like, okay, what would you prefer? And I was like, well, I would prefer my Chevy Traverse but I know that I'm not going to be able to do that right now just because a newer one is more expensive. And then on top of that, they didn't have a new one. So I was just like, I know that's not going to work. And I don't want to travel just because of the situation that I'm in. So um, he ended up trying an Outlander 2020 and it didn't work. It was I think it's still the sport. I'm trying to think. I don't remember, but either way it goes, I was just like, uh, it wasn't a three row or anything of that nature. And I was like, no, I don't want that. That's not what I'm doing. Cause I really don't want to be into something that, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily like, I don't feel comfortable in. And then I have to be stuck in that for at least a year. And I don't want to be in a year of misery. So, um, he, I end up, was there for like four or five hours and I was like you know what thank you so much for your time um I'll come back and see what you guys have like once I can so he was like I'm still gonna try Miss Campbell don't give up on me things of that nature so I was like okay I'm not 
we'll we'll just see where things go so he ended up trying an outlander es model which is still a, it's still a sports car so i was like okay cool and he was like we got you a proof for it and it's a 2022 and i was like okay I kind of, I like that car. I, I'm familiar with that car. Let me go look at it. So I go look at that. And I was like, okay, I want this. What can we do to get me in it? He was like, well, you're already approved for the car. We already ran some numbers with the down payment that you want to pay, things of that nature. So I was like, okay, what will my payments be? And he was like, uh, yeah, so this is where the problem comes into it. He told me what my payments would be. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing it. Um, and then we we continue to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Of course, you know, with car salesmen, they want to make a sale. And I was like, well, I want to get you a sale, but you need to talk good numbers to me. So all in all, guys, I end up getting a new car. I'm super, 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 super excited. I can't believe that I do have a new vehicle, but I am in my 2022 Outlander Sport. So I kind of just wanted to give you guys that... Uh, story time i don't want to go into numbers and things of that nature just because this be quite frank none of y'all business right however lo and behold i end up getting my new vehicle that i'm currently in so i'm super excited i just wanted to come up here and give you guys that short little story time my next video that i'm gonna do is going to be me uh, giving you guys a tour of the car so stay tuned for that but i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short guys because i gotta go make some money with that being said please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace